Warning! Quarantine tomb! Inhabitants died of green tongue fever! It looks murky. Wow, a whole bucket of mud. And it's mine, all mine. to get naked in other men's rooms. They look pretty old. I'd better not touch them. It looks like somebody's trying to grow penicillin. Nice door. It doesn't seem to stay closed. I think I hear Largo coming. Hey, what the hell? What's going on? Whoever did this is gonna pay. I can't get this thing off my head. When I get this thing off my head, somebody's gonna be real sorry. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. He looked pretty steamed. You're making me mad, Marty! That's my name, don't wear it out! Look, I want it free and I want it tonight! Party tonight? Sure, I'll come! I'm talking about getting my laundry! Don't worry about me, I've been dry for three years! I said, I need it back tonight! What? Yeah, we'll stay out all night! This is useless! You tell them I'll be back to pick it up! Or else. Oops, I thought I wanted to talk to you, but I don't. Largo's been here. Uh, oh, yuck. Yep, it's Largo's.
Ready for Mr. Legrand. I know it's here somewhere. I saw it a while ago. Now oh, where was it? Ah, here it comes. Nice April fresh scent. That doesn't seem to work. Cute little fella. me any more ingredients? I have some of his spit. Excellent. You may keep the paper. Have you brought me any other ingredients? I have the bone of his grandfather. Perfect. Do you have the final ingredient? I have this pearly white bra. Yes, that will work. At last! Now I can make a voodoo doll to be reckoned with. Let me get my juju bag. And now for the ingredients. A dandra flake from Largo's head. A single piece of Largo's thread. A drop of fluid from his body. A single chip off the bone of the dead. And finally, some miscellaneous voodoo herbs and seasonings, including monosodium glutamate. This ought to be good. Two, four, six, eight. Who do we assassinate? Lago, Lago, yeah. Hey, that looks just like him. Thanks, Voodoo Lady. One more thing. Some of the ingredients were not the optimum specimens. It should still work, but it will have a limited range. You will have to get close to Largo. Very close.
It's little, mean looking, and ugly, just like Largo. Sharp. I think Largo's out of voodoo range. Back again, Mr. Threepwood. Uh, about that voodoo doll? Sorry, no returns on personalized voodoo products. If it's not working, I suggest you get closer to your subject. Well, that's enough voodoo for me. Bye. So be it. coming in here. Didn't I kick you out of here before? I can't believe you're in here again. Take that, you stumpy little dim-witted toad. What? Who do you think you are? I'm Guybrush Threepwood. People don't always recognize me. That's why I carry this. I'm gonna tear you limb from limb. How are you doing that? Largo the Grand, you are a no-good, vicious, two-bit thug. I command you to give me back my money and leave this island. Ha! I already spent all your money. Oh. Well, I command you to leave this island. Just you try and make... That'll teach you to mess with the slayer of the ghost pirate LeChuck. What's that? You killed LeChuck? As a matter of fact, I did. Quite an interesting story, actually. The fortune teller said she did in LeChuck. She did, did she? Does she have one of these? Is that... Yes, LeChuck's beard. Still alive and wriggling. Let me see that. Boy, it is alive. We've been looking for a living piece of LeChuck for years. Now we can bring him back to life! Look out, world! The most fearsome pirate of all time will soon sail the seas again! Whoops. I'm afraid it's true, Guybrush. If they have any animated tissue, they can reanimate his whole body. But I blew his body into a zillion gooey pieces. Not his body, Guybrush. You destroyed his spirit form. His body was safely buried far away. But by now it must be... Rotten? Partially decomposed? Yes. And I don't think that's going to make him any more pleasant to deal with. He's gonna be looking for me. Yes. He's gonna try to kill me. Undoubtedly. Can you just kill me now and get it over with? You must try not to lose hope, Guybrush. There is a way out. What is it? You're doing it right now. Fiddling with the change in my pocket? Hunting for Big Whoop. Oh yeah, I was doing that, wasn't I? Big Whoop isn't just a treasure. It contains the secret to another world. Find that world, and you'll be able to escape LeChuck forever. But I know so little about Big Whoop. Take this book. Big Whoop. Unclaimed Bonanza or Myth? And where'd you get this? I checked it out at the Fat City Library. I foresaw your need. Gee, thanks. I used your name when I checked it out, so be sure and return it when you're through reading. The overdue fines in Fat City are pretty steep. Gee, thanks.
Big Whoop, Unclaimed Bonanza, or Myth? This is fascinating. It says here there were four pirates. Rap Scallion, the cook, Young Lindy, the cabin boy, Mr. Rogers, the first mate, and Captain... Good heavens! Captain Marley! Wonder if there's any relation. They bury their treasure along with plenty of... Uh-oh. Booby traps on a place believed to be called Inky Island. They made a map which they divided into four pieces, each man taking one. Rapscallion later opened the Steam and Weenie Hut on Scab Island. It was a huge success, but fell into disrepair after Rap was killed in a flash fire. Young Lindy drifted aimlessly, down on his luck until he mysteriously came into money while panhandling on Booty Island. He used the cash to bankroll an advertising firm which failed after its gross mishandling of the gangrene and honey account. Mr. Rogers retired off the coast of Fat Island. He marketed homemade contest grog brewed in a bathtub until his recent disappearance. Captain Marley vanished while sailing in the America's Cup race. His boat was leading at the time. <clears throat> yeah? Largo the Grand will never bother you again. Yeah. I heard Marty stuck a bunch of pins in his underwear or something. Drove him right out of town. No, it was me. You? What were you doing with Largo's underwear? Um, well, no, never mind. I'd like to look around a bit. Sure thing. Hello. Hi, Wally. Oh, hello, Mr. Brush. Hey, I did it! Largo Legrand left scab. That's great. I guess I can stop with the bricks through his window now. Nice monocle. Thanks. I can't see a thing without it. Hey, where's my monocle? I can't see a thing without me monocle. Where is that thing? I swear I put it right here. I hope I didn't lose it. I'll never be able to afford a new one. How am I supposed to work? Dang. I'm such a dope. Can't I do anything right? Oh, shoot. I bet my mom would help me find it if she were alive. For crying out loud. I hope it didn't roll onto the floor. Nobody move. I can't believe somebody would steal it. I'd go for help, but I'm afraid to walk around like this. I'm stuck here forever. I'm gonna starve to death in here. I'm gonna die hungry, blind and alone. Why me? I never hurt anyone. Rats! stinks if I don't find it soon I'm going to lose all the monocle grabbing muscles in my eye here monocle here boy crud I 
made Largo leave this island. You made cards out of sand. Do I care? I guess I'll be going now. Hey! Yo! Hey guys! Yoo-hoo! little fella. Good thing this is a cold soup. Ugh, there's a rat swimming in it. I've never been much for rodent seasonings. Excuse me. Yeah, boy? Largo the Grand has left Scab Island for good. Well, well. I guess all those laxatives I was slipping into his drinks finally got to him. What? Don't worry, I don't put him in all the drinks. Hey, uh, how's the stew tonight? Stew? Oh, gosh. We only serve gourmet chilled soups here. In fact, our new cook has been working all day on a very special Vichy Soise. Let me go see how he's doing. How's the Vichy Soise, Bernard? Excellent, sir. Won't you have a taste? Oh, I think I will. Oh my god! What kind of demented recipe book are you using? <laughs> You're fired! But, sir... Ow! Get out of my sight! This is the most disgusting, filthy mess I've ever seen in my life! Look at all the hair! And what's this stuff? How am I ever gonna get rid of this junk? Well, here's your soap. Uh, I'm really not that hungry anymore. Dang. Hey, can you cook? A little. How'd you like a career in the fast-paced world of pub food cuisine? Are you saying there's an opening in the kitchen? Yeah. You interested? I don't know. How much does it pay? 420 pieces of eight a week. First week paid in advance. Sure, I'll give it a shot. Great. Job is yours. Here's a week's worth of wages. Now go strap on that apron and get to work. Okie dokie. I'm no cook. The barkeep would be mad if I left work early. ask about chartering a ship before I hand over my money. What was that, man? Everything looks all blurry. Would you like my monocle? Thanks, man. This'll do just fine for me lucky sailing necklace. What can I do for ya? I need to charter a ship. You're in luck, my friend. 
Rumor has it that Lagos been run off the island. So I'm now free to sail again. Only problem is that you don't look like the type that has 20 pieces of eight. Actually, I do have that much. Well, man, consider me ship chartered. Great. Where's your ship? You're standing in it, man. Yikes. Deep in the Caribbean, hidden by an endless storm, lies LeChuck's Fortress. So, when are we gonna resurrect the old bloated fool? Oops. I'll ignore that comment just this one time, Largo. Only because they tell me you found Guybrush Threakwood. It's Threepwood, and I found him on Scab Island. Very good. No one gets the upper hand on the Chuck without getting what he deserves. I want Guybrush brought to me, and I want him brought alive. I am entrusting this to you. Do not fail me. Never, your voodoo lordship. Aye. Guybrush Threepwood is finished. I need you to start building me a very special doll. With pleasure. I'm off to find Big Whoop. It has a picture of a parrot on the front. It's empty. Welcome to the Jolly Rasta. Where do you want to go? Might just like to cruise aimlessly for a while. Okay, just let me know when you want to get someplace. Where do you want to go? I don't know. What are my choices? I only know how to get to Tree Islands, man. What are they? There's where we just came from, Scab Island. The only island where pirates are free to be pirates. Then there's Booty Island. The festive French Mardi Gras party all the time island. It's run by one of the most respected and loved governors around. Governor Elaine Marley. Elaine? And last, there is Fat Island. A fascist dictatorship run by an over-bloated pig named Governor Fat. Here, take this easy-to-read reference map, courtesy of Dread Tours. You can use it to show me where you want to go. I wonder if it's loaded. Hey, don't touch that. We only set that off when the mail boat comes in. Gee, I wonder if he's loaded. Hello there. Sorry, son. Didn't have my horn out. Could you say that again? I said hello there. My name's Threepwood. Oh, why, hello there, Threepwood. You in town for Mardi Gras? Is this the right time of year for Mardi Gras? Son, it's always Mardi Gras on Booty Island. I used to be the governor of this island, but I never had any time to come down here and enjoy the party, so I quit. And now I watch out for the mailboat, which reminds me, 
I have to get back to work. Hello again. Eh, what was that? What you looking at? I watch the sea. When the mail boat arrives, I blow this cannon. Dang ships three days late. You don't have a brother named Marty, do you? Boy, the only Marty I know is Mardi Gras. Who? Mardi Gras. It's a joke, boy, a joke. You are here for Mardi Gras, aren't you? Hey, if it's a party, I'm there. Well, if it's a party you're looking for, I hear Governor Marley is having some super shindig up at her mansion. Marley? Huh, that's funny. I used to date a Governor Marley. Oh, sure. And I'll bet you helped her beat LeChuck, too. Don't laugh. I've got the proof right here. In my pocket. Whoops. Um. Hey, hey, kid. It's okay. Mardi Gras is the time for fantasy. Now just run along and enjoy yourself. Hello again. You talking to me, boy? Hey, old man. How about blowing off the cannon? How about just blowing off? My name is Augustus DeWatt, not Old Man. And this cannon is for official purposes only. Hello again. Oh, yes. Well, are you enjoying Mardi Gras? No, I'm on a treasure hunt. What? They're doing a treasure hunt again this year? I can't believe they'd try that again after all the mishaps last time. I meant a real treasure hunt. You know, for money. For money? Look, son, this ain't some back alley on fat. If you're looking for gambling, you've come to the wrong place. Hello again. Oh, yes. Well, are you enjoying Mardi Gras? Well, what kind of mishaps were there at the treasure hunt? Well, some people got carried away, some graves got dug up, horrible business. Well, enjoy Mardi Gras. Don't you know a Mardi Gras costume when you see one? Is there something I can help you with? Uh, nice costume. Almost scared me to death. Thanks. Where's your costume for the governor's party? What are you guarding here? I'm guarding Governor Marley's mansion. Elaine Marley? From Melee Island? Yep. The same heroic Elaine Marley who killed the ghost pirate LeChuck. But I killed LeChuck. Why would Governor Marley lie? Jealousy? In your dreams. I'm here for the governor's party. You mean Governor Marley's Mardi Gras fish fry? It's invitation only and costumes are required. This is my costume. Nobody would willingly wear such a dopey costume. You mentioned a party before? Do you bring a costume and invitation? I don't have an invitation. Then you can't go past me. Mm, gotta go. Keep up the good work. The sign says the Booty Boutique, Mementos, Souvenirs, Artifacts.
He looks like he's really into this stuff. Nice shop you got here. Thanks! I pride myself on the quality of my merchandise. I only sell the finest of pirate memorabilia. Even the trade-ins are first class. And I always make you the best deals. How can you afford to do that? Volume! I have to go now. It looks like Spiffy the Pinhead! Well, I'd like to buy this mask. I only have one of those, so I need to keep it as a display model. That's the real thing, as seen in Raiders, Temple, Holy Grail, and the Young Chronicles. I'd like to buy Indy's Whip. That's great, huh? Too bad it's not for sale. Those are authentic scale reproductions of rotting skulls rendered in sun-bleached whalebone. There's even some loose skin to hang them up from. I'd like to buy these gross skulls. I just keep those here because they're cool. They're not for sale. That's a sign I took from the famous Precipice View Road. I've never heard of it. They call it Dead Man's Drop now. I'd like to buy this left turn sign. That's great, huh? Too bad it's not for sale. You'd look good in one of those. And they're great for parties. I'd like to buy these pirate hats. Excellent choice. They are 30 pieces of eight each. Okay, I'll take it. Let me get you one from Overstock. Here you go. Thank you. It's ergonomically formulated to enhance stopping power. I'd like to buy this anchor. That's one of my favorite things in the store, but I don't have enough back stock to sell it. It's a beautiful antique porcelain vase. Oh, I'd like to buy this vase. That's one of my favorite things in the store, but I don't have enough back stock to sell it. Ah, the famous ceremonial lights from the Pirates of the South Pacific. Those aren't for sale. I'd like to buy these peaky lights. Actually, those belong to my son. They aren't for sale. That's a great gift for the holidays. I'd like to buy this wreath. Excellent choice. That'll be 20 pieces of eight. Okay, I'll take it. Let me get you one from Overstock. Here you go. Thank you. That's a Mark 7 Devastator triple cannon emplacement. If only they'd thought to leave a hole for the fuse. I'd like to buy this cannon. That's one of my favorite things in the store, but I don't have enough back stock to sell it. That's the legendary white whale. Never been caught, except on canvas. Does it have a name? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe not. Nothing says a whale must have a name. Uh -huh. I'd like to buy this whale painting. I only have one of those, so I need to keep it as a display model. That collectible plate is worth a mint. Wow, uh -huh. I knew those would be valuable one day. I'd like to buy this rock and roll collector's plate. Excellent choice. That'll be 199 pieces of eight. On uh, second thought, I'd better save my money. Your loss! I was told that these are used as a form of barter in the inner cities. I'd like to buy these hubcaps. And I'd like to sell you one of them. They're 50 pieces of eight each. Okay, I'll take it. Let me get you one from Overstock. Here you go. Thank you. I made that myself, from my last parrot. Got too noisy for me. I'd like to buy this feather pen. And I'd like to sell it to you. That'll be 10 pieces of eight. Okay, I'll take it. Let me get you one from Overstock. Here you go. Thank you. Check out these balls. They're made of a fine iron cast. I'd like to buy these cannonballs. 
I just couldn't part with those. They have sentimental value. I have an eye patch in every shape. I'd like to buy these eye patches. I just couldn't part with those. They have sentimental value. I'm not sure exactly what this is. I'd like to buy this thing. I only have one of those, so I need to keep it as a display model. It's a picture of a pirate with peg legs. I'd like to buy this small picture frame. Yeah, I like that too, but it's not for sale. I got that as a gift from a man I saved a few years ago. Don't have much use for a wheel, but he said one good turn deserves another. I'd like to buy this bosun's wheel. That's great, huh? Too bad it's not for sale. It's said that the infamous Greenbeard won that barrel from Long John Cooper in a poker game. Shame that it's empty. I'd like to buy this treasure chest. That's great, huh? Too bad it's not for sale. It's empty. I'd like to buy this barrel. I only have one of those, so I need to keep it as a display model. That's a real ship's horn, just like the ones used on modern ships. I'd like to buy this ship's horn. And I'd like to sell it to you. That'll be 40 pieces of eight. Okay, I'll take it. Let me get you one from Overstock. Here you go. Thank you. It was handmade by a good friend of mine from another island. I'd like to buy this peg leg. That's one of my favorite things in the store, but I don't have enough back stock to sell it. Found that beauty at the bottom of the sea. She cleaned up real nicely, though. I'd like to buy this well-polished old saw. Great! That'll be 25 pieces of eight. Okay, I'll take it. Thank you. a beautiful parrot. He's preoccupied with his reflection. Beautiful. Hey! Don't do that to my parrot. Sorry, he's not for sale. Mr. Polly likes that mirror. Yeah, he seems to be in love with his reflection. I don't want to make that parrot mad. He likes it where it is. It says, beware of parrot. I can't move it. I'd like to buy this sign. Sorry, that sign's not for sale. Oh. Well, uh, I guess I could sell it. That'll be five pieces of eight. Okay, I'll take it. Thank you. That's an authentic pirate's fish hook. Found it inside a crocodile who was too petered out to move. It's firmly attached to the wall. It has a picture of a parrot on the front. I'd like to buy this mirror. Okie dokie. That'll be 15 pieces of eight. Okay, I'll take it. Thank you. That's part of the Big Whoop treasure map. I don't know a lot about the piece, but there's supposed to be a book in the library that tells all about the whole map. I'd like to buy this map piece. That's six million pieces of eight. Do you want it? I can't afford that much. Too bad. Do you take credit? Yeah, like you have one. But I do accept personal checks or trade-ins. What kind of trade-ins do you accept? I'll take most old swords, some used parrots, almost anything valuable made of bronze, and a few old ship parts. Would you give me the map piece for any of those things? No, but there's one thing I might trade for the map piece. 
What would you trade for the map piece? There was a certain ship that sunk, and I'd really like the figurehead. I'd give you the map if you got the figurehead for me. Can you tell me about the ship with the figurehead? The ship was a huge galleon named the Mad Monkey. Nobody knows where it sank or why, but the figurehead is supposed to be the most fabulous piece of art ever. That's why I want it. I'm a collector of fine art, as I'm sure you can see. I have to go now. Cruises! Check it out! Sightseeing! See the world! What are you looking at? See the world! I think she'd slug me. Three-hour tours. Sunken galleons. What? Check it out. Glass-bottom boat. Hi, my name's Guybrush. I'm Captain Kate Capsize. Like to charter a ship? I do weddings, funerals, bar mitzvahs, you name it. Could I have one of those leaflets? Yeah, okay. Could I have one of those leaflets? Hey, these things cost money. I'm searching for the treasure of Big Whoop. Yeah? When I was the first mate on the Limping Limpet, we went in search of Big Whoop. We'd heard it was buried under a place called Blinky Island. Never found the island or the treasure. The captain eventually died of boredom while we were crossing the Sea of Beige Flotsam. I hope your luck is better. I'm interested in chartering a ship. Great. Not many people want to charter a glass-bottom boat around here. Pretty soon I'm off to Fat Island to try my luck there. But let's talk turkey first. My fee is 6,000 pieces of eight. Don't you think 6,000 pieces of eight is a bit high? No, I don't. Do you give credit? <laughs> I don't have that much. I guess you'd better find some more then, huh? See the world. Glass bottom boat. Sunken galleons. What's a nice girl like you doing in a place like this? Trying to avoid guys like you. Sunken galleons. Come here often? Once too often, obviously. Cruises. I can hold my breath for ten minutes. You'll have to wait longer than that to pick me up. See the world. You know, they call me the Bone Master. I'm surprised anyone calls you at all. Sightseeing. You know, I could really fall for a girl like you. Hopefully off a cliff. Check it out! What's your sign? No trespassing. Sightseeing! How'd you like to come up and see my etchings? How'd you like a nice fruit punch? Cruises! Wanna feel my muscles? Call me when you find one. Cruises! Has anyone ever told you you have beautiful eyes? Has anyone ever swallowed that line? Cruises! Wanna see my scar? I've seen lobotomies, thanks. Sunken galleons. Let's get out of here and go someplace where we can talk. Preferably long distance. Sightseeing. If I said you had a beautiful body, would you hold it against me? Just the part with the knuckles. See the world. Aren't you a famous model? Aren't you a famous jerk? Cruises. Want to help me search for buried treasure? How would you like to be buried treasure? See the world. You look like a pretty classy babe. You must be a stewardess. I guess I was wrong when I thought you couldn't possibly be as dumb as you look. Three hour tours. You'd be in good hands with me, baby. You can go be in your own hands, creep. Three hour tours. Last day before I leave for Fat Island. Sightseeing. See the world. I like this one. This is really nice. I wonder if I can rent this one. I think this one's my favorite. Neat. I don't know what it is, but it sure is ugly. I should check with the shopkeeper first.
He looks really busy. Excuse me. I'd like to rent a costume. Our costumes are all gone. Or on reserve. Sorry. But you have tons of costumes. They're all reserved and waiting to be picked up. Why are your costumes so popular? I'm the only costume shop in a five island radius. And besides, everybody who's anybody is going to the big Mardi Gras celebration at Governor Marley's mansion. I'd really like to rent a costume. Try us after Mardi Gras. I'd really, really like to rent a costume. Look, if you don't have a reservation, you don't have a costume. I need to rent a costume. I said I'm all out. I have to rent a costume. Next time, make a reservation. My life depends on renting a costume. Can't you see I'm busy? Did I ask you about renting a costume yet? Can't you see I'm busy? Um, I'm looking for a costume. Can't you see I'm busy? Please rent me a costume. Next time, make a reservation. You look busy. I'll come back later. Sunken galleons. Sunken galleons. Glass bottom boat. Check it out. Cruises. Nice. Check it out. Howdy. Welcome to Stan's previously owned coffins. We handle the dead for a lot less bread. What are you looking for, son? Need a bin for your next of kin? Want a family plot without spending a lot? You're in luck! Just look at all this quality merchandise. Never before touched by a living soul. Most of it used only for a few hours. Premature burial, you know. That sort of thing. Well, speak up. Or are you dead? Either way, you came to the right place. Didn't you used to be a used chip salesman? Well, yeah, but I decided to get into a business where unsatisfied customers are less likely to come back and complain. Do you do funerals? Of course we do funerals! And not just those somber, all-black, three-handkerchief affairs. We do it in a rowdy Mardi Gras style with music and dancing and pallbearer races. I'd like to say we put the fun in funerals. <laughs> I'm not actually in the market for a coffin yet. It's never too early to make funeral arrangements. Making plot reservations now ensures you a space at our popular Scab Island Internment Park, as well as entitling you to discounts on park rentals. Rentals? You know, for barbecues, parties, that sort of thing. I need to get something involved. Well, you came to the right place. Your loved ones deserve Stan's special preserve. You won't smell a whiff when we're done with your stiff. I never knew morticians were so clever. Actually, I'd just like to browse. Sorry. Health regulations prohibit me from allowing uncertified persons free access to used internment paraphernalia. Oh, shucks. I'm looking for a good used coffin. Amazing! When you first walked in here, I said, Now there's a guy who needs a good used coffin. There happens to be an excellent deal right behind you. Let's go take a look-see. Now this here is the Cadillac of coffins. Look at all that leg room. There's room in there for Long John Silver himself. Here. Let me get in and show you. Yes, a man can really rest in peace and comfort with one of these. Why should a man's coffin be any smaller than his bunk at sea? Can I show you anything else? How much is that coffin? Well, it's complicated. Pricing here at Stands works on a sliding scale, based on one's ability to pay so as to make a decent funeral affordable to even our poorest customers. That's very considerate of you. So, how much dough do you have on you? I don't have much. 
I see. I think cremation might be more appropriate in this instance. I gotta go. See you later. Here, take this complimentary hanky. Just my way of saying, I care. Three hour tours. Three hour tours. Okay, now who's gonna be next? It's a great day for spitting. Pirate spit contest. Just look at this juicy crowd. Step up to the line and test your swill. Spit fun, spit fun, spit fun, spit fun. Valuable prizes. Even a child can do it. Ah, the whole world loves a spitting contest. Come on! It's all paid for by Booty Island Parks and Rec. I'll give it a try. A volunteer! All right, settle down, folks. This kid looks like a serious contender. What's your name, boy? I am, of course, Captain Loogie. The Lukester. Lugorama! Hawking the big ones for fame and fortune. Spit away! Spit? That's gross! I'm out of here. Ooh, no! Dry tongue at the last minute! Well, what about you folks? Just put your two lips together and blow! Are you pirates or not? Two, four, six, eight! Third place. Everybody already has the necessary equipment. Second place. Turn a disgusting habit into a prestige winning skill. First place. Don't let this grass wither up and die. What was that? Did I hear somebody swallow? What a waste. Oh, me, me. <clears throat> Captain Loogie is in the house. Spit away! Woo! Let's go! Misfire! Misfire! Everybody run! Gee, that's too bad, Captain. Let's give him a big hand anyway, folks. At least he tried. Thousands will spit. Hundreds will win. No volunteers? If Blackbeard were here, he'd shoot you all right now. <clears throat> Captain Loogie is in the house. Spit away! Spit! Come on! What's this? A surprise turnaround in performance? That doesn't quite qualify. But... I think that deserves a little applause. Too bad there are only prizes for first place. Better luck next time. Now, how about the rest of you? Come on, don't be shy. Let it fly. I know you want to volunteer. It's on the tip of your tongue. Cruises. Cruises. Last day before I leave for Fat Island. I just remembered I'm late for a party. You and everybody else on this island. If you need a ship, you know where to find me. Check it out. Hello again. Oh, yes. Well, are you enjoying Mardi Gras? Yep. Can't talk now. Having too much fun. You kids today, always on the go, go, go. Where do you want to go? 